Hey everybody, it's Ea Patsy here with a love bite for the sign of Aquarius for November, mid-November 2017 to mid-December 2017. Already did my prayers and shuffled the cards and laid them out. So the way this goes is there are 10 cards here that are from the uh, Romance Angel Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. The first five are uh, you. The second five are your partner or the thing about your relationship that you need to pay attention to or that you are concerned with. Okay. And after this, we'll be getting five more cards from the Conscious Spirit Oracle deck by Kim Dwyer. And then at the end, we'll be getting a card from the uh, Until Today deck by Iyanla Van Zant, And we will also be getting our messages from the Postcards from Spirit deck by Colette Baron reed Okay, these are new cards. All right. And these actually bring um, messages straight from the Spirit to our reading. Okay. Uh, so let's start with your reading. I hope that everybody had a good, uh, Halloween getting ready for the, uh, Thanksgiving holiday now. And so I wanted to try to get as many of these out as I could before the holiday so you can enjoy it during that time. All right. Thank everybody for their uh, views, for their shares, for their likes, for your comments. And, uh, for those of you who requested uh readings private readings i appreciate the opportunity to have been able to share that experience with you okay make sure that you comment in the bottom and you know let me know if anything resonates with you and when you uh watch this please please share these messages because the message even if it didn't resonate with you it most certainly is going to resonate with someone else out there. And even if it did resonate with you, you might want to share the wealth. Okay. So Aquarius, this is your love bite for November and December, 2017. The first card you got was this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner that you seek. All right. Very good. Next card is engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, so perhaps you've gotten, you've gotten engaged lately. Okay, or you're about to get engaged. Sorry, I hope I didn't spoil anybody's surprise. Or it could just be talking about um, the relationship is growing to the next level. Uh, you all could be engaging more with one another, spending more time with each other, getting to know each other. Okay. The next card here is forgiving and learning. All right. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay. So maybe, um, you all have been through a couple of little things and this card is saying that you have to release and heal those hurts and those bad experiences. So that you can make room for pleasant moments going forward. Next card is unrequited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay. All right. And so I think that this is talking about something that went on in your past. Maybe a relationship that you no longer in, but it, it still haunts you. It still bothers you. All right. This may be the thing that you need to be able to forgive and learn. This may have been that experience. The next card that you got here is make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. All right. So this might even be saying that you have to put forth the effort that perhaps that's why you weren't feeling like uh, the love that you felt wasn't reciprocated. And so they're advising you to make the effort. Hmm. 
All right, this bottom row of cards is either your partner or your love interest or something that you need to deal with about your love situation in order for you to go forward. The first card here, Aquarius, is calling your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. But this is in the reverse. <clears throat> okay. Calling in your soulmate in the reverse. Perhaps this is saying that that this person, your partner, doesn't feel that you're their soulmate. Next card you got was a wedding. This situation involves a marriage. Or maybe they feel that you're no longer their soulmate. This engagement card fell directly over the wedding card. So I'm thinking that this may be about a wedding or a, 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 an engagement, an engaged couple. The next card that you have here, Aquarius, is release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And that's in the reverse also. Next card you got here was true love. And that was in the reverse also. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime in the reverse. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. That's in the reverse also. Okay. Just give me a second here. Okay, Aquarius, I'm sorry for that long, uh, it's quiet. I was I'm trying to tune into this reading. All right, so, seems as if we are talking about a marriage that is getting ready to take place. These people have been through a lot. I think that... This, this may not be that you all are that head over heels in love with each other anymore. It may have, okay. this may have been going on for a long time. You all may have been together for a long time. And you've gone through a number of things over the years. And it's just at the point where you're like, well, I, we've been together so long, we may as well get married type of energy. They don't want to lose you, but it's like they don't want to feel like they wasted. They don't. They don't want you to feel like you've wasted your time, and they don't want to feel like they wasted their time. I think they want to make sure that they that neither one of you are uh, embarrassed in front of your society or friends. So it seems like maybe you're planning a wedding, you're planning to get married, but you both know that there's other things going on or have going on behind, you know, between the two of you that is not making this that easy, but you've been together such a long time that this is just the, the way it is. This is the way it's supposed to go. You're supposed to get married and be together forever because you all have been together for such a long time. You've invested a lot 
of emotion, emotion and feelings into this relationship. I'm feeling. I'm just getting this intuitively from these cards, not particularly in any order right this moment, because this one's a little tough. It doesn't look like it should be tough, but for some reason it's just not. Um, it's, this, it's a little, it, it's not so obvious. At least to me, it's not as obvious. But up here, Aquarius, you're trying. All right, you want to make the effort. You want to forgive. And you believe that this is the one. You believe that this is the relationship of a lifetime. You just know it hasn't been easy. There's been a lot of roughness. And there's a lot of scar tissue here. And that's why you're willing to forgive and learn and make the effort. But you know, so many things have gone on over time that could, that would be the reason for things not being as uh, hmm, romantic as they should be for people who are getting ready to get married. Familiarity breeds contempt. That's what I just got in my head. And I think that's as people have been together such a long time and they are just, eh. you know, it's like hanging out with, with, with your cousin or your brother. It's like, eh. you know that they're family, you know that they're there, but there's the excitement. The thrill has waned quite a bit. Yeah, they don't feel like 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 this is their like you're their soulmate anymore, or if you are, you've gotten into a rut. But they don't want to let you go. They don't want things. They don't want to be apart from you. It says release your ex. Upside down. And then I then I trying to be. I don't believe they're trying to involve themselves with anybody but you. It's just that y'all have been through a lot together and there are a lot of scars. And this love yourself first card in the reverse could be their questioning. Like, how much do they love themselves? They allow themselves to go through all that they have with you and still stay. It's like this, they saying to themselves in normal circumstances, they would, normally they would advise someone else in this situation to get out. But instead you all are going ahead with this, these wedding plans because that's what was scheduled and that's what you were supposed to do. And you've been together so long, that's just what is supposed to happen. See this wedding card, the situation involves a marriage. She's giving him the side eye a little bit. These people look hesitant and unsure. But it is love. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So if you've been disrespectful, or you may feel that, have you been disrespectful? <laughs> wow. Of yourself? Or do you feel like staying in this relationship is dishonoring yourself maybe there is someone else an ex that hasn't been released 
that one of you, that your partner, the person you're interested in, does feel more of a connection to, that that's their true love. But they've already committed to going forward with this wedding. But they're, they may be a little hesitant. They're very hesitant because they want to love themselves first. And I think they think that this other person is their true love. In the meantime, you're making the effort. And you know that their mind is somewhere else. That's why you got the unrequited love card here. That's it. So you all are engaged, but you know that your fiancé would rather be with someone else. There's someone else that has their interest. And you're really afraid that they're not going to go through with the wedding and embarrass you. You're concerned about the embarrassment. Because you all have been together a long time. And the person maybe that, they're, that they feel is their true love is someone else that came into your relationship. So maybe y'all were on a break or something like that. And they met someone and they really had this strong, strong feeling about. But they didn't pursue it or they let it go, or the person walked away, whatever. But in the back of the... They might not even be in touch with this person that much right now. But you, Aquarius, know that your partner has another love in the back of their head somewhere for someone else. And that's bothering you a lot. And you're trying to make the effort to draw them back. You are... Trying. The Spirit is saying for you to love yourself first. Don't belittle yourself for the sake of uh, saving face with society. Because society does not have to stay in the house with this person every day for the rest of their life. All right, I'm going to see, let's, go, let's see what the uh, Conscious Spirit Oracle deck, let's see what messages they have for Aquarius. What else can we get for Aquarius? A little love bite for the month of November, mid-November to mid-December 2017. Okay, thank you so much, Spirit. Mm, okay. Earth Angel, I am a guardian of Mother Earth and protect all who live in her. On her. In her. Okay. Okay, so we could be talking about an Earth sign. Wheel of Life. I am guided by the cycles of life and live in complete harmony with them. So. This is saying, I believe that this, this is the cycle of life. This is the wheel of life. And that you are doing what is expected of you because this is how it goes. So you're trying to be in harmony. You're trying to do what is expected. And it be, that fell between the engagement and the marriage card. So that's why I'm saying that this is just part of the life. This is what you're supposed to, this is what's expected of you. This is what's expected of you and you are doing it and they are doing it too. They're going, the plans are to go forth with this wedding, with this marriage. The question is, how do you go forth in a marriage when you know that someone is not giving it its full, their full effort, that they, they still have someone in the back of the mind that they love? But you know what, Aquarius? 
You'd be surprised how often that happens. And I was saying in the last reading I did, I believe it was Capricorn or maybe Sagittarius. People don't always get married for love, you know. We romanticize these relationships. But the reason that people get divorced so often is because they don't get married for the right reasons. It's not about love. It's about material. It's about other things, expectations. Archangel Raphael. I invite Archangel Raphael to bring healing and knowledge into my life. Yes. Yes. There's things that you have to learn. Forgiving and learning. That came right over that. Okay. At day's end rest. I find peace in nature and rest my mind and body in order to connect to spirit. One more card. Thank you. Thank you, sweet spirit. Thank you so much. One more card for Aquarius. This reading for Aquarius. Mm, thank you. Third eye chakra. I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom in my life. Mm. Okay. At day's end rest, I find peace in nature and rest my body and mind in order to connect to spirit. Okay, so this sounds like maybe you all, you and your partner, need to rest, step back, take a break from this whole, all the preparations and all of this. This is a lot of work. So I think that this is what's going on. You're in the middle of getting married and planning a wedding or getting ready to, to, to do this. And I just think that you need to come to some kind of an understanding. Talk about this situation and have honesty. Now, if you are discussing this and the person that you're getting ready to marry is like confessing that they still have feelings for their ex. Don't, don't become the drama person. Just listen. Listen. Try to talk about it. Try to help them help you understand what it is that's missing in your relationship or what is it that is so memorable about that other person. You know, sometimes when we're not with a person, we tend to romanticize them and uh, remember things about them in ways that you... Like you, you create a fantasy around this person because you want them and you miss them so much that you may not be remembering them realistically. And that's something that you have to be mindful of. That sometimes absence makes the heart grow fonder just like familiarity breeds contempt. So the closer you are to a person, the more chances you have to, to, to miscommunicate and to argue and to get on each other's nerves and all of that. But when you're far apart from each other, when you're not living with each other, when you're not seeing each other, when you haven't seen each other in a, in a long time, those things, those bad things, those negative aspects, 
start to get smaller and smaller the further and further away you pull from the situation. Whereas the person that's been there hanging in there with you, everything they say, their voice, their, you know, whatever, everything eh, is like a, a tick, you know, because you're together so much or you've been together such a long time. Okay, so I'm going to look at this. Uh, uh, I want to check at day's end dressed. I want to check the third eye chakra. Okay, Aquarius, let's go here quickly. At day's end rest. This card is a reminder that rest is a necessary part of life as much as work is. Okay. Um, your mind, your body and mind need time off from the hectic um, pace of life. Whether you take off an hour during the day to recharge your batteries or a day or a week off from work, you need to do this. By running on empty, you're unable to pull 100% effort into your work and life. By running on empty, you are unable to put 100% effort into your work and life. Eventually, your body will manifest systems of dis-ease to force you to take a break. Don't let it get to this stage. Recognize and respect your body's signs of overwork and fatigue. Turn off in nature is extremely, time off in nature is extremely beneficial to recharge and re-energize your body and mind. Create a tranquil sitting area under a tree in your garden and spend a peaceful hour sitting Grounded to Mother Earth each evening instead of sitting in front of the TV or computer. When you take a break from work or situations, you're able to view them from a different perspective. It's only when you step away from life that you can truly see your own accomplishments. Yeah, you may have been doing too much for this wedding. You may have been doing too much planning, working, everything that you're doing. And Aquarius, yeah, you may be tired or overtired. And that is what what is making you uh, a little antsy about what's happening around you, okay? That may be why you're feeling threatened by the memory of your ex's ex. Because you're doing, you've been doing too much and you're tired. Third, I, I think you're being a little hard on yourself, um, Aquarius. I really do. I'm thinking that it's not as serious as you think it is. I think that it's just a cold feet. That's what it is. It's just a cold feet before. And with your um, partner, there's someone that they could direct their, mm, their angst at, you know, like, mm, maybe I shouldn't have done that. You know, there's someone that they can direct it at. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going anywhere. I just think that they're having a moment. I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom in my life. Third eye chakra. The third eye chakra is linked to light, intuition, and self-reflection. Its name is Adna, and it means to know or perceive. The color associated with it is indigo, and it is situated between the eyebrows, above and between the eyebrows, okay? Just like it is in that picture. All right, that's a little better. Um, this card is reminding you that you have the ability to awaken intuitive and psychic powers within us. This card is a reminder to you that we all have the ability to awaken intuitive and psychic powers within us. Guidance from higher realms often comes to you as a gut feeling. Learn ways of developing this intuition. By learning to tune into your intuition, you will be guided to make the best choices for your life. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Keep a diary of your intuitive feelings and experiences as well as your dreams, and you will discover that the more open you are, the more accurate these feelings will become. Trusting your intuition will also release you of fear and instill more confidence within you. 
Remember to honor and encourage this ability in others so they too can become masters of their own lives. Okay. Okay, so. Your intuition is telling you to make a stronger effort towards this relationship. What your partner wants you to do is to love yourself first. Hmm. I said I wanted to check the Earth Angel also, didn't I? Earth Angel. Mm. This card is a reminder to you that it's time to awaken the protective, angelic side of yourself in order to safeguard the Earth and all is and all life of future generations by ensuring that your actions and words are supportive of a sustainable future for this beautiful planet through active participation in living a harmonious life with all of nature you can show others the way forward be compassionate and unselfish in your dealings with other people with animals and all of the natural world Let's see if I can get that better. Um, be unselfish and compassionate in all of your dealings with people, animals, and in all the natural world. Show compassion to friends, family, and strangers through daily random acts of kindness. Remember, though, that expecting something in return negates the sincerity behind your good deeds. Give unconditionally. By sharing and caring for all of life on this planet, you will help raise the energy, bringing the Earth uh, closer to a point where fear can be replaced by love and future generations can have their own hopes and dreams for a better future. Okay, so this is about being kind, compassionate, And sharing. Yeah. Okay. I believe this is a couple that's been through a lot. There's been some hurt. There's been some dishonesty. There's been uh, breakups and makeups but you all are getting ready to take the next step and you all both bear the scars of the battles that you've had but there is someone there in the back of your mind or in the back of their mind that they would have loved to have had a chance to explore the possibilities with. But they're committed to you. And they're going to go with this. They're going to learn how to make it work again. You're both going to learn how to make it work again. And you all are going to learn how to love yourselves first. Okay. Hmm. Feels a little sad in a way. Okay, from the Jan Van Zant until today deck. I live my life as freely as I choose. Hmm. Until today, you may have been living your life under the impression that everyone is watching you. Just for the day, live like like no one else in the world is watching or cares what you're doing. All right. So maybe the advice is 
is that y'all need to agree to call the caterers and cancel the plans and live your life the way you all want to live it. Don't care what anyone else says. And this is if you all can agree that maybe you can put it off for a while, delay it again. You've been waiting all these years. And that's what I'm getting. It's been years. You've been waiting all these years. What's a few more months going to difference going to make? To give you a chance to make sure. Give it that one last push. No one has to, you don't have to discuss it with other people. They don't have to know what's going on. But there's time during this time that you all can learn to forgive and to grow and to just explore. Just love yourself first. Pursue the thing that that is that you think is going to make you both happy. It doesn't mean that it is. Just because you think it's a true love doesn't mean that it is a true love. But I think it's saying that you need to maybe give it one more chance. Make the effort one more time. Okay? And I guess I'm not saying that the, the person that you're with now is going to be like the consolation prize after you go out there and then, you know, you come back all dirty and sweaty and now it's like, all right, all right, I tried it and it wasn't good. Let's go. No. No, that's not fair either. And that's not fair either. And that's not what I'm saying. But I think what Spirit wants you to do is to make sure that the, the way that you're getting ready to go is going to be for your best good. And maybe you just need to just take a step back. You know? Take a little break. You know, maybe you can communicate to the person that you have in mind, this person. This person who has your attention, that the other person that you feel is the ex that you haven't been able to release. Maybe you can communicate with them and talk. Maybe after you have that talk, you'll realize that where you are with who you're with is who you should be. I think that's what they're saying. Don't just let it, don't go without exploring it. Don't let this, don't proceed forward without exploring what that was, or what that is. Okay, so the second card we got from the Alanya Van Zandt Oracle until today deck is I realize that pain is a warning that something is out of order. Until today, you may have been making excuses for why you have pain in your life. You may have been afraid to acknowledge what causes you pain. Just for today, be devoted to identifying and eliminating the situations and people who cause you pain. Okay, so Aquarius, I believe that that's what it is. I, my advice, the advice that spirit has given me to give to you is take some time and see if you can make some kind of contact with this person, this ex and have a, you know, go, um, go away somewhere, I'm not telling you to go somewhere and cheat, no, but like get some, a private place, go to a park or go somewhere private where the two of you can talk, really get it out and talk it out, hash it out, cry it out, whatever it is, so that you can just put things in order and that you can release whatever it is that you're holding on to. And if this is for your partner, Aquarius, that may be something that you may want to share with them, that that's what you think that they should do, you know? Have a talk with them. 
and and find out exactly what's going on. And if they tell you something like, you know, that they're having feelings that, you know, they can't explain or they feel like they're interested, whatever, have a way you get to that spot. I think you need to have that talk. And then let them do their thing and have enough confidence in yourself that however way it turns out, it's going to turn out for the best of everybody who's involved. All right, so we're going to get a, see if the postcards from Spirit by Colette Baron Reed has anything else to add to this conversation. These, these, um, these cards are actually little postcards, all right, with really ethereal, ethereal writing on the front, okay, and messages on the back. And these have newly released, and there are 52 oracle cards in here. Okay, so when the uh, messages come, no matter who you um, are seeking guidance from, the ants, they're going to, like, let's say you're looking to speak to your grandmother. The ant, the uh, response is going to be in a collective, as a we or an us when they're speaking back to you. So it could be her, but as these um, messages are written, it comes back as a we or an us, and they're talking to you. So you'll be addressed as you, and they will speak of themselves as we and us. I just wanted to let you know that in case. Uh, there was any confusion. It was very important that the uh, author of these cards pointed that out. The response from spirit is always in a collective. No matter if you are with these particular oracle, with this particular oracle deck. No matter how you are addressing the question, if you're addressing it to a particular person or persons. It's going to always come back a we. All right, so thank you, Spirit. Do you have any help and direction for Aquarius brothers and sisters uh, for their love life for the month of November, mid-November 2017 to mid-December 2017? All right. Okay, so... The front of this card says, with love. And that's the one thing about these cards. The drawings are so fainted. They're, they're beautiful, but... Hmm. Hmm. With love. It kind of looks like the uh, catechist for healing, for medicine, but it has a face on it, like a joker. Hmm. Odd. Okay. Dearest you, as you think, so, you, so will you experience life. Thoughts are that powerful, and they need minding. Let the unruly, chaotic ones settle down so they serve you or get released instead of wreaking havoc. Okay, thoughts are that powerful and they need minding. Let the unruly, chaotic ones settle down so they serve you or get released instead of wreaking havoc. These thoughts arise when connected to the energy of fear and often masquerade as truth. Yet the real truth is that essentially all is well. Of course, you have negative thoughts that are positive. Strong, oh, sorry, sorry. Back up. Of course, you have thoughts that are positive and strong, organized, accepting, creative open, and so on. 
those are the ones we want to we want you to keep thinking and they have less frantic quality they're stimulating in a good way and they don't get away from you how do you keep an inner eye on your thoughts <laughs> How do you keep an inner eye on your thoughts? Meditate and leave judgment out of the mix. Everyone has those fearful thoughts. Love them. Love yourself. And then choose the thoughts that you want the world to reflect back. Life is not as hard as you think. Loving you much. Hmm. So it's saying that your thoughts will manifest into experiences. And you have to pay attention and let the unruly, chaotic ones settle down so they serve you or get released instead of wreaking havoc. So I think, again, we are talking about cold feet of before the marriage. Or before the wedding. These thoughts arise when uh, connected to the energy of fear. And often masquerade as the truth. So again, your fiance or you could be creating this fantasy of this love, this unrequited love, this romance of a lifetime. And what they really need to do is settle down <laughs> and think about this. Because this could just be fear talking. And that there is no unrequited love between the two of you. <laughs> that this is just fear. And it's false fear because all is will. Meditate and let 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 judgment leave judgment out of the mix. At days and rest, third eye chakra. Yeah, you need to take time for yourself. Each of you need to take some time for yourself. to heal yourself, to forgive, to learn, and to finally release those exes and that energy. You take the thoughts that you want and you throw the ones that you don't. Life is not as hard as you think. Loving you so much. I'm going to hold this here and maybe you can uh, uh, screenshot it or uh, stop the tape so that you can read it for yourself and go back to it when you feel like it. I'll hold it this way. Is that this? No, let's try it this way. Maybe the long way. Okay. So, anyway, Aquarius. I hope that that was helpful. I hope that this resonated with you in some way. So please, if it did, let me know in the comments below. Please like, please share, and I will be seeing you in December for your next Love Bites. I'll also be doing the regular readings, general readings at the beginning, the end of this month for December. Okay, so enjoy Thanksgiving, everybody. That is my favorite holiday, in case I didn't say it before. Thanksgiving is the bomb <sighs> my most favorite holiday of them all anyway enjoy your holidays and drive safely um be safe be strong communicate get some rest relax all right and uh i'll look forward to talking to you soon all right bye